All right, in this video, we are gonna briefly go over the lab values um, that I feel are important to know for the endocrine system. I would really concentrate on knowing the values associated with the thyroid panel, so T3, T4, and TSH, and then I would also know your blood glucose levels. So let's start with T3. So T3 should be between 70 and 204. And the way I remember this range is T3 reminds me of times three. So if you take 70 times three, that gives you 210, which is kind of the upper end of that range. So if I can remember 70, and if I look at T3, then I know to multiply that times three to get 210 as the upper range. So this trick, along with others, is in my lab values deck if you're interested. All right, T4. T4 should be between four and 12. And the way I remember this is that my husband is obsessed with Terminator, or at least used to be. And um, I've probably been forced to watch T4 or Terminator 4 between four and 12 times. And that's probably not an exaggeration <laughs> at all. At least I've watched part of it four to 12 times because I'm usually asleep for um, a good bit of it. So, um, but yeah, four to 12 times, not kidding. So that's how I remember T4. All right, TSH. Um, TSH reminds me of tush, right? So kind of missing the U, but it looks like tush. The normal range for TSH is between 0 0.5 and 5. So it's roughly up to 5. So the way I remember this is if you touch my tush again, right, my booty, I am going to slap you with all five fingers. So that helps me remember that when we're talking about TSH, the normal range is up to five, five fingers. Okay. Hope, you, hope you're enjoying my silly little ways to remember these things. Let's talk about blood glucose. If your patient has a fasting blood glucose, we would expect them to have a value under 100. If they have a value over 100 for a fasting blood glucose, then we would be concerned for prediabetes or diabetes. If a patient has a two-hour oral glucose test, tolerance test, then we would expect a value under 140. And then if they get their HGB A1C level drawn, we would expect that percentage to be under six. Okay. So when we talk about diabetes in a um, upcoming video, if a patient has diabetes, we're going to manage their progress um, at controlling their blood glucose levels with that HGB A1C value. And if they keep it under seven, then that's usually good enough if the patient is diabetic. But if we're talking about the general population and someone who does not have diabetes, um, or at least not um, diagnosed diabetes, we would expect that A1C to be under six. All right, so hopefully that's helpful. We will pick it up with endocrine disorders in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.